What's up everybody? This is Murdick 3 k and today we are taking a look at another smartwatch. This watch is uh, one that is very similar. It looks a lot like the Spacecrafter watch by Carbonex. Now, if you guys have seen my other videos, I'm only going to touch on this briefly. When you see those watches on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook, when those ads come along, and you see that company Shop Carbonex or the other one with the Delta Gear watch or whatever it's called, before you buy, do yourself a solid and just do a little research. For one, check the customer service uh, information. Just Google it independently on uh, Google. And then another thing is that I heavily suspect that these watches are, are, are sold by drop shippers. That means they are purchased from a manufacturer. They're rebranded in some situations and they're sold to you for considerably high, higher price. Now, if you love that brand, if you, if you just are, just, I want my watch to say Carbon X on it. Hey, more power to you. You go ahead and spend 50 more dollars on that product. But if you are wise to the game, you will do yourself a solid, do a little research, and you will find that you can find those very same watches minus the branding, which means basically where it says g wear here, which is the generic uh, way it comes. With the, sh with the, man what the drop shippers will do, they will maybe change the face out or pay the manufacturer to do it, and they'll have some slight cosmetic changes. But what you're getting is the exact same watch. So let's, enough about that. I've talked about it in other videos. Let's Let's go get into this pot package. So this is called the Sport Smartwatch. Military watch, blah, blah, blah. The stuff from Amazon. There it goes. On the back, it, let's see some basic parameters. CPU, what it says there is Realtek 8762DT. It means absolutely nothing to me. I have no idea. Display is 1.32 inches, IPS full round screen, compatible OS's. This works with uh, iOS 8.0 or better and Android 5.1 or better. Bluetooth 5.0 and then it has the size right there. And right there is where we're going to cut into the box. There we go. And we're going to let it slide on. So this comes here. You see we have black on the little black dot. This comes in steel or blue. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. There will be a link in the description below if you so choose to go this route. Now let's take a look at the watch. So here's the watch. The G-Wear. Now it says black, but it's and it is. It's like a nice dark finish there around the uh, the bezel and so what we have here from what I can see right there it says G wear it says fashion beneath down up sound and 3d I have no idea what the 3d means I imagine the sound is um, a location of a speaker or proximity to speaker don't know what these little arrows do one points to it looks like it has some sauce. let's get into it let's talk stop, stop talking about it and let's be about it Oh, alrighty. So we got that out of the air. Okay, get this out of there. Alright, so here's the watch. Same band as we've seen on the other one, same style band. A very nice uh, rubber slash silicone like band. Now on the back there, your uh, your um, blood oxygen saturation and your uh, pulse rate meter there with the LEDs and whatnot. Please peel off before using the smartwatch and we will do that shortly. Same thing as this. Make sure we have a full charge. Doesn't say that. It, and again, this is kind of what we have here. It says, please make full charge before using the uh, smartwatch. So, not the best grammatics. And that's what that's typical when you get things uh, from uh, places that are different from the U.S. Nothing, And this comes from China. Nothing against my brothers and sisters from the uh, land of China. Um, it is. It just is what it is. So, you know where it's made. Let's see what else we got in the box. 
So we have some instructions here. Now I saw this when I was looking in the box. And this is, I'm not going to show you this, but what this is, and, and it's pro and con to it, right? So if you, ha if it happens to be a solid watch, you give it a five star review. But what this company does is they, um, they say, hey, Give us a five star review, post a video about it on Amazon, and when we'll send you, I think, what is it, a thirty five dollar gift card? So it's like pay to play type of situation there. So that, I mean, if it happens to be great, great, but it's it's kind of cheating, right? Here's the charger, no brick, and remember, as stated in the previous videos, if you are buying several of these inexpensive smartwatches. And on first glance, you might think that these cords are interchangeable. They're not. They are. They are different, and some will, will totally not work uh, from one watch to the next. So keep up with your cords. And there you go. So what we're gonna do now? Is first, we're gonna pull that off, and then we're gonna pull this off. There it is. And now what we're going to do, we're going to charge this watch. We're going to let it get nice and juiced up. And then uh, we're going to we're gonna see what's up. Now, I will say this. We're not going to go too much into the app uh, like we did in the previous two. Because it's the same app. It's the app, the fitness app or whatever it's called. There's a, the, Here's the QR code if you want to, I'll get it close. If you want to scan it for yourself or just look on the Google Play Store or the uh the app store, you can just, I don't know if I can get that focus just yet. Let's see. I don't want to screw up my video. Beep, beep. So yeah, go ahead and screenshot that if you want to preview the app there. There it is. All right. So let's get, dip, and there we go. So what we're going to do now is we are going to charge this watch up. We're going to uh, take a look at it. We are going to see if there are any differences within the app uh like i know for example one thing we are going to do within that we're going to look at the watch faces uh the interface to see if that's any different but uh yeah let's get to it we're going to go ahead and charge this baby on up so what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and charge it up so what it's doing now is repelling the magnet that means i have it aligned incorrectly i want to just rotate this around and then it grabs right on we see it's charging. We're going to let it sit here and do its thing, and we'll see it in about an hour or two. We've had a chance to mess around with the um, watch for a little bit. Very neat. I'm telling you, this is a, different from the past two, the other two that we took a look at. Let's talk about some of those differences. The first thing we want to do, we want to go into the app. The Fit app, and then we are going to add the device. And this device is the K28H. We're going to tap that. The other two vice, the devices were devices we had reviewed previously or first impressioned previously. After that, it's going to give us a Bluetooth pair request. We're going to allow for contacts and call history because we can make phone calls with this watch. So we are now synced up to Bluetooth. Now, depending on whether you want media audio to play through your watch or not, you're going to want to possibly look into your Bluetooth settings. Now, I don't know how you do this on iOS, but this is how you do it on Android. So I, I'm allowing my phone call audio to come to the watch. I'm allowing for media sh contact sharing, but I don't want necessarily at this time my media audio playing through the watch. This might be helpful if I am running or doing some other exercise, but I don't necessarily want it playing through the watch at this time. So I'm going to turn that off. Like I don't want my, if I'm watching YouTube on my phone, it's not going to benefit me to have it playing through my watch. So that's what that, think of it that way. So I'm going to go back out all the way back to the app. We're not going to dive into the app too much because we've seen the app in the other two previous videos regarding watches that uses the fit app if you want to see that there will be a link in the description below for those um, two videos and uh, so I encourage you to check those out if you are curious about the, the detailed workings of the app so let's go we are going to look into the watch faces that's the thing we are going to look at but m most of this is going to be at this time about the watch itself. So what we're gonna do is shake to wake and we're gonna see some of the faces. So let's take a look at the, oh, that's not, so this, let's look at the interface. 
before we look at the watch faces. So the interface is very different. So you can change it to the standard uh, interface like the other ones, the other previous watches have, or you can use this really cool rotating one, right? So you tap whatever one you want and it rotates around till it's on the bottom and then you tap it. Let's say if we want to go to settings. Let me get in the focus, by the way. You guys should have told me I was out of focus. There you go. And then I, whatever, it pops up in the middle. I tap the middle, and then it gives me some options to mess around with what I want to mess around with, right? So there it is. You can even download. If you don't have the app already downloaded, you can hit that. It gives you the QR code to download the app. You can turn the watch off here. Just several things you can do. You can access your theater mode, which dims it if you're in the movie theater. You can turn the vibration off, and that's something you might want to do if you're in the theater mode. You can uh, bring up your brightness levels, and you just swipe it up or down like so, and it controls your brightness levels there. Just know whenever you change these settings, there is a potential, and it will not a potential, it will affect your battery life. Now, the, the battery life is fairly robust. I doubt, I think one of the things they tout, depending on what you read, a 15 to 20 days standby maybe um and like maybe a week out of uh of regular use that's what i would say all right let's see what else we got da -da -da -da. let's look at some other things in the watch going this way so we have our steps our pedometer our sleep monitor if i don't wear my watch when i'm sleeping and but but if you do and you're curious about your sleep monitoring it does that i can't speak on the accuracy of it because i haven't done it um and then your exercise tracking if you want to track your exercise what it does it's you set whatever exercise you want to do and it gives you your heart rate output and about how many calories you burn. And then if you're running or doing any walking, it tells you uh, the distance you've tra traversed. And um, and there you go. Uh, it, it records your progress. So you can make phone calls. Uh, in the app, there's a thing where you upload your favorite contacts. We're not going to show that because what it does when you do that, it pulls up your contact numbers and I don't want you guys seeing all that information. But you can either do it that way, shake to wake or push this button. Oh, I went back home. The, well, since we're here, let's talk about this real fast since I just did it. So if you want to go back to your, uh, uh, go to the up, right? That takes you to your previous. If you want to go back down to where you were, you hit down. And if you want to bring it back to the face menu, or uh, your your, uh, your watch face, you push that one right there. That's what those little buttons do. So you, if you do know a phone number and you don't have them in your contacts, you can just do it old school and dial it in. And that's totally fine. It gives you your health readings, your um, your heart rate here your blood pressure speaking on the blood pressure let's talk about that the act the readings are not accurate i compared it with my machine at home that is accurate i had it uh, calibrated at my doctor's office these are not accurate readings if you're a person that depends on your um, blood pressure for your health for depending on that monitoring don't rely on this watch as a feature to monitor your blood pressure do not rely on this watch to monitor your blood pressure as far as i can tell the 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 heart rate and the blood sac uh, oxygen saturation levels they're actually fairly accurate that's not a hard technology to master but blood pressure through just the laser readings that is something a little trickier and it has not been mastered with uh with, with to be uh, reliable yet and it's definitely not reliable here matter of fact uh it, 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 yeah, it's just it's just not reliable. So don't don't count on that. Gives you your weather. We are synced up to the phone, so it's giving us the weather current, and then it will also give you the seven day forecast, which is pretty nifty. You can control your camera, like if you want to take a, a selfie or a, like I don't know group photo. You have your phone on a tripod, and you like okay. You can use your voice command, of course, if you like. Google can activate that, or Siri, I'm sure. But you can also just get, get on your watch, push the button, it gives you a countdown, and there you have it. Your music player, which is really cool, does not have an SD card to 
preload uh, music onto the watch. But you can, if you open your player on your phone, you have to do that first. After you open, the, and the only reason I'm not doing this right now for you guys, I don't have any copyright free music uploaded on my phone. So you open up whatever music player. I have two different ones. It works with the uh, YouTube music uh, player and it works with uh, the other one I use. And then what you can do with that, you can control the volume like that. Same thing. You go up and down. Only thing I can't, it's not sliding right now because the only time it slides is when you have music actually playing. So that's why that's not doing anything. You can go back, you can go forward or you hit play or pause. That's what you do. And it will actually give you, if you have the music labeled, if it gives you the artist and everything in your, uh, on your player, it will actually have that right information right there as well. And this is the mindful breathing techniques that the watch has included. It can like breathe in for eight seconds, breathe out or whatever, but it's pretty neat. It actually is more fun than I thought. It's calming. That's the big thing, mindfulness right now, right? So let's go back and see what everybody wants to see, the faces. So it comes preloaded with several faces. And some of the faces don't even show up. The preloaded faces don't show up necessarily on the preload screen on the app. But we'll talk, take a look at that. So this guy, I want to show you this guy. He's animated right there. So that's pretty funny. So you scroll through. And here are your, now that is not a preloaded face. That is one that we've downloaded. It'll allow you to store one of the downloaded um, faces on, um, on board. And then th these are the other preloads. And we're going to go all the way back around to the one we started off with. And the reason we're going to go back to the one we started off with is because that one is the customizable one. So what you do with this, if you have a photo in your phone, let's see if we can do it real quick. So I launch, I tap it. Oh, you know what? I have to customize it to that. We'll talk about that in the app. But again, we're, you know what? We won't because we've covered it in the other two videos. And again, those links will be in the description below. We don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. So those are the faces. Let's take a look at some of our other faces that we have available for this watch. Some of them will look familiar, but some of them are, each of these watches from what I notice has uh, unique uh, faces. So we're going to take a look at some of those unique faces right now. So here are the faces, and even though we had several preloaded, it doesn't even show you all the preloaded faces on this initial screen. They will show up in the downloadable faces, and I don't know why that does, because the other ones, the preloaded faces are just the faces that are on that initial screen. Not complaining, they're already there, so that's great, but... Um, but it is what it is. So let's look at some of these neat faces. This is a pretty cool one. I like that one. Several of them are pretty neat, to be honest with you. So we're just going to scroll through. I'm trying to go you know, through and um, check out the different watch faces. This one here is unique. It doesn't... This one isn't an interactive uh, one as it is on the other watch, on the... Uh, K22. On the K22, you tap the little astronaut and he, he moves around and changes positions. On this one, he just stays in the same position. So that's kind of what I'm talking about, where like there are different watch faces. And then I guess there's certain little perks and features that some of the faces actually have on some devices versus others. So it's worth checking them all out eventually. And another thing, and I'm not sure about this, but I suspect that these faces update from time to time and they do add new ones because I, every time I look at it, it's a lot of faces, but I swear that I see new faces like this one, for example, I almost, this one, I don't think was on one of the times I looked at the faces previously, the one with the black up top with the red lettering and the one at red at the bottom with the black numbering. So that's, that's something that's, different I think I could be wrong because again it's easy just to notice something different every time you look through it like in this flamingo one I don't remember seeing the flamingo one so I think they do add or change out the uh, faces from time to time so that's all the faces for that device so that's the device in a nutshell. So a quick rant to continue on while I'm even doing this series on these watches you'd be like well Nick why are we looking at inexpensive uh, smart watches I was curious about the Carbonox watch, the Spacecrafter one, I'm sorry, the Spacecrafter by Carbonox. 
So I um, research it, and the only thing I see about it is it's one of those ads. It's a YouTube short, and it's it looks it screams paid marketing material. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Texas Hog Killer or something like that, and he's talking about the watch and all he does with the watch and blah blah blah. So I'm like. I want to see a, a true unboxing of this or, or a review, and there's there was none to be found. And so uh, I I looked at the watch and I went back to the the website because they have the website there shopcarbonox.com. I'm checking it out and I see something. So in the background they have a watch, and in the foreground they have a watch. The one in the foreground is the watch, and it says like like right here it'll say. Carbonox. There's no indicator of anything saying sound or 3D here. A fashion is not there, but you do have the up and down, and you can tell the distinctive buttons it has right there. And so, and it says spacecraft, or I think up the, up top. So that's what it does. So I'm seeing that, and I'm like, okay. But in in the background, the watch in the foreground. It's this very same watch. It's a little blurry at first, but then when you look at it, it's not so blurry where you can't make it out. It says G-Wear at the top, it says Fashion at the bottom, has like the buttons at the same place, down, up, sound, and 3D. It's the exact same watch. So I'm like, something's not matching up here. So I go on Amazon and I look up, I just put in uh, Spacecrafter Carbonox. And uh, what pops up? This watch being sold by several people, drop shippers, that uh, have this very same watch. This happens all the time. Like one, some of my other contact content is firearm material. You find this with firearm optics. You find it. You literally find it all over the place. And uh, that's what it is. So I'm making these videos to help save you guys some money. Because if you bought it from Carbonox, what you're paying for, you're paying an extra $50 because they chose to pay for um, some marketing. They wanted to spruce up the packaging and they may or may not have change the faceplate uh the the one on the youtube uh thing the texas hog killer the youtube short i think the faceplate here was changed the bezel was changed and that's really easy to do the manufacturers will do that for you and they will basically these are just attached with hex screws you just undo them with the hex screws they etch it with a laser they uh, get the they, they just replace them they just replace it with the one they've etched you've paid for it as a drop shipper and then there you have it so why why pay an extra fifty dollars for the same watch? So hopefully this information has been helpful to you guys. So if you are interested in this watch, um, if you want to buy the watch that says Carbonox on it for the sake of that, hey, you go ahead and do it. Just know that you can, you're you're paying fifty dollars extra for the same watch you could get uh, on Amazon. Just so you know, there will be a link for this watch in the description below uh, where I got it. And if you're interested in it, if it's something you want to try out. Feel free. I'm going to do it like I did the other uh, watches. We're going to wear it for about 30 days. We're going to put it through its paces. And I'll, if it's holding up, we'll say it. If it's not, we'll say that too. And if they do eventually fail, I'll come back and let you guys know, even if it's beyond the 30 days. Well, anyway, I hope this has been helpful, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, keep on watching. Like and subscribe and live the dream.